Mr. Peking, is yours the president of the COP28 climate summit, Sultan Al Zabar, recently claimed there is no science that says phasing out fossil fuels is necessary to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre industrial levels. In comments that have alarmed climate scientists and advocates, the future role of fossil fuels is one of the most controversial issues countries are grappling with at the COP28 climate summit, where while some are pushing for a phase out, others are calling for the weaker language of a phase down. Scientific reports have shown that fossil fuels must be rapidly slashed to keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius, the goal of the Paris Climate Agreement, and a threshold above which scientists warn it will be more difficult for humans and ecosystems to adapt. Al Jabbar made the remarks during the C Changes Climate Panels event on November 21st, which came to light on Sunday in a story published by the Guardian. And in video that CNN has reviewed, AI Jabbar was asked by Mary Robinson, former president of Ireland and current chair of the Elders Group, an independent group of global leaders if he would lead on phasing out fossil fuels. In his response, A. I. Zabba told Robinson, there is no science out there or no scenario out there that says the phase out of fossil fuels is worth going to achieve 1.5 degree. He said he had expected to come to the sea changes climate meeting to have a sober and mature conversation and was not signing up to any discussion that is alarmist. He continued that the 1.5 degree goal was his north star and a phase down and phase out of fossil fuel was inevitable, but we need to be real serious and pragmatic about it. In an increasingly fractious series of responses to Robinson pushing him on the print, a Zebra asked her, please help me, show me a roadmap for a phase out of fossil fuels that will allow for sustainable socio-economic development unless you want to take the world back into caves. Al Jabbar's presidency of the COP28 summit has been controversial. The Emeriti businessman is the UAE's climate envoy and chair the board of directors of its renewables company, but he also hears the state-owned Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. A spokesperson for the COP28 team told CNN in a statement, this story is just another attempt to undermine the presidency's agenda, which has been clear and transparent and backed by tangible achievements by the COP president and his team. The COP president is clear that phasing down and out of fossil fuels is inevitable that we must keep 1.5 degree within reach, adding we are excited with the progress we have made so far and for the delivery of an ambitious decision attempts to undermine this will not soften our resolve. Fossil fuels are the main driver uh, of the climate crisis and as the world continues to burn all coal and gas global temperatures are soaring to unprecedented levels. This year has been record global heat which driven deadly extreme weather events. Fossil fuels production in 2020, 2030 is expected to be more than double what we would be necessary to keep global warming under 1.5 degrees. A recent report from several scientific institutions including the UN environment programs found that reports use scenarios laid out by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Changes and the International Energy Agencies to reach its conclusions. If the IPCC and IEA do not count as science, then I don't know what does, said Polly Aquolos, climate researchers at the Stockholm Environment Institute and one of the authors of the report. She told CNN it concluded that all fossil fuels have to be phased out, especially if carbon dioxide removal and carbon capture and storage measures fall to scale.